Sunday, March 13th, 2012, that's tomorrow, marks Mother's Day. And as it just so happens, Bizarre Furhead and I are working on a surprise for our beloved mother. Are you wanting excitement? Cooking in the buff with the furhead! Step one. Lose your clothes, you morons! <laughs> Something ain't right with that boy. <laughs> Now this cake calls for six eggs, well three apiece, so six total. We're making two cakes today, both of them orange supreme flavor. You sure that's clean? <laughs> Watch us get our kitchen shut down after the health, the health department sees this video. Our mother may be getting an even bigger surprise than she expected. Perhaps an all-expenses-paid trip to have her stomach pumped. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a gift. Alright, so what are you doing right now? I'm measuring out all the ingredients. So, when it gets to that time, I can just say, oh, yep, dump that in. Sounds like a good method. <laughs> he shoots, he scores. Yeah! We're testing the microphone limiter on handy cams as well. Oh, we are? Yeah. We're actually doing that? So much crack, it's got a street value. Hush it. You're one to talk there. <laughs> Where my hangs at? They're on the stove. I'm going to be cracking a lot of eggs here. Bet you I'll find the eggs for a fur head does. Of course, I have a zoom lens, so that's not fair. Now, is that bowl clean? Should be. <laughs> you like that answer? Yes, I did. Now, don't let UXW Bill crack your eggshells. Because you'll end up with eggshell pieces in your cake. <laughs> no, I don't think I did. I was watching. I'm a stringer! <laughs> That's what it looked like. Alright then. Bonus points for in the bowl. <laughs> I saw that one. You gonna spike the cake, are you? I might. I might have to. See if mom can tell me what's in the cake. <laughs> well, I imagine after a couple slices, she might not be able to. Alright, that's six eggs right there. One, okay. two, three, four, five, six. Look at all those floating around there in their eggy goodness. Lots of cholesterol there. And a sampling of earwax. Ew. Is lime green healthy? I don't think so. At least you didn't get a candle out of it. I'm not Shrek. <laughs> Alright, open the box of cake mix in a precise fashion and put it in the bowl gently. And that goes a long way towards uh, making a cake. <laughs> Alright, now the ingredients. <laughs> no, that's not right. That how that would be how UXW Bill does it. That is not how I do it. Now froth this up, put it in a big line on your table, get a straw, stick it up your nose, and do a cake line. <laughs> Probably wouldn't be too hard to find video on YouTube of someone actually doing that. Why do kids do drugs? Because they're fun! You shouldn't do that. You shouldn't encourage kids like that. I mean, they go to 
They go to D.A.R.E. education classes, which I'm pretty sure is an acronym drugs for Drugs are really exciting. Drugs are really exciting, yeah. <laughs> All right, so you just mixed in the water. Almost said you mixed in the water and the cake, but in reality you mixed in the water and the oil with the cake mix. Now, does anybody know what you do with your eggs? One. Uh, you beat them. Cha-ching! <laughs> What those eggs ever do to you, anyway? Um, they came in a crate. I should outdo the keykeeper's flowers and shiny detail. Detail. Oh yeah, there's definitely a competition going on here because the keykeeper went for a no expenses spared uh, detailing on our mother's Park Avenue, and he also got her a set of flowers as well. So there's definitely some sibling rivalry going on here. Alright, now we set the oven for 350 and throw that mess in there. Grease the oven, turn the cake tin to 350 degrees, sample the whiskey for consistency, got it. And we want to try to keep the keep the cake mix out of the bowl, so we stir it very fast and very uncontrolled. Oh, so you mix it up with some stuff that's on the floor for added flavor, huh? Yep. <coughs> Don't spill any. I think this is the hardest he might have worked all week. Man, if I knew making food was this hard, I'd just go out and buy pre-made food. Like <laughs> Bill. I don't want to turn out like to be, like Bill. I don't want to turn out like Bizarre Furhead. Everybody wants to be me. I'm the cool one. <laughs> How high was that? I don't know. I'd say that was at least three feet long. Pity we don't have a dog. We may need one later to lick that up when it falls on the floor. <laughs> As you can see, Furhead's been working very hard here, so he's got to stop and give himself a treat. He's going to have some uh, milk with his chocolate syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Ribbit! <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. Oh, well, it's not enough. And if you watched Epic Meal Time, you'd know that. It needs bacon. <laughs> you want to keep Furhead all busy all afternoon? Ask him to butter a pan for you. <laughs> that one was a little close. We're going to tend your butter, I think. Sounds like your butter's going to the bathroom in there. <laughs> Do you hear anything, Bill? 
The microwave is making a funny sizzling noise. The microwave's on? It was. Oh, it was. Check that out, it still hasn't all mixed in there. <laughs> now, Furhead, did you get all the stuff out of the oven? No, and I hope not to be, but I'm really taking my chances here. Not bad. Need some whiskey. Would you make sure you got all the stuff out I of it? Oh shit, it's all on the floor. <laughs> Fucking pants. Raw eggs are good. I don't know, I grew up uh, eating raw cookie dough out of the mixing bowl, even though my mother told me not to, and look how I turned out. I don't think raw eggs will hurt you. I mean, what's salmonella? I think it's made up. That's what it well, is. I think it's the name of a happily married couple, if you ask me. <laughs> salmonella? I don't get it. Fuck! <laughs> Why didn't you tell me there was a goober of orange, <laughs> orange cream here? <laughs> Uh, the curling. Yeah, I didn't know my foot could curl. The amount of time that you need in order to bake the cake depends upon the pan size that you're using. So, in order for Furhead to know how long to bake his cake for, he needs to know how big the pan is. So I have gone down here to our highly organized tool system to get him a measuring implement. See? Organization works wonders. Aren't you going to measure your cake? I will, but first I have to finish texting. Oh, but your cake's already baking. You're not supposed to use metal instruments on that cake tin. <laughs> we'll, we'll call that side 13 and a half. Thirteen by nine. Three two is thirty and thirty and a half minutes. 
Sounds like a big brown piece of junk to me. Oh, it is. I still have to do those crummy flowers. This was baked with my heart. When this goes off, you hit the gas. sewing machine. Now we have to be very careful. If you use enough butter. Now Bizarre Furhead's going to dump his cake on the floor. Ordinarily if you're doing something like that when you're making a cake, you're doing it wrong. Furhead burned himself. How are you going to take those two apart? Carefully. Now this method I just have to see. Oh my goodness, I think it's going to work. And there's the remaining half of the cake. And the other half on the cookie sheet. Now can I cook or what? Here we are about a half an hour later and Furhead is busily frosting his cake. Looks good. I know a bread knife can make the perfect serving utensil. Doesn't that look good? Yeah. Can I cook or what? 
说你是不是海鲜的广告词？啊，我，这不当广告。